bond builder, shattered edges, invisible layers. No, I'm not talking about the latest Marvel comic superheroes. I'm talking hair. If these phrases are as confusing to you as they are to me, then stick around. We are decoding the newest hair terms with hair expert Jason Lee and a fun little game we're calling <laughs> Hair Say What? <laughs> Jace, is it just me or are the hair terms these days getting a little out of hand? Like, what's going on? I mean, no, you're totally right. Uh, you know, hairdressers, we, we get bored very quickly and very easily, <laughs> so we tend to reinvent the same thing and give them new names. Mm -hmm. um, and I know for sure, I'll sit there with doing a consultation with a client, and I'll be like, you know, you, could you really use a curtain bang or like a money piece or something? And Ooh. I know that they're looking at me and they're like, I have no clue what you're talking about. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to bring, you know, the salon professional vibe and all of our lingo to everyone and explain different things so that everyone can understand what we're saying these days. Okay, I want a money piece and I don't know what that is. That sounds very cool. Okay, so we're not just going to do a little like lesson glossary terms. He's going to test me. We're going to play a little game. So how hard could it be? Are you going to give me some options at the very least? It's going to be multiple choice, multiple, right. multiple choices, how I got through cosmetology school. So you're going to be totally fine. <laughs> Let's start with the question. So okay. question number one. The term brand is one of the most popular terms used today. Okay. Does the term brand mean A, a beer and avocado hair treatment, mm -hmm. B, a bronze coppery blonde hair color, okay. C, both brunette and blonde hair color all at once, or D, a bond building hair care treatment? I feel like I'm blonde. I mean, so I'm gonna go see both brunette and blonde hair color at once? That's correct. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That's 100% right. Hottest yeah. hair color around right now. You yeah, know. Everyone's coming in asking for um, mm -hmm. Haley Bieber's hair, but I will say you, mm -hmm. I love your hair color right now. It Thank is you. totally on the mark. You are nailing it. I'm amazing. Did you just put that in there because my hair? I or do. no, like, no, no, it's just but you're so on trend right now. I, okay, love well, I love your it. hair right now. I love okay, it so well, much. Thank you. What's our next question? Question number two. Balayage yeah. has nearly 30 million hashtags on Instagram. Yeah. But what does this term balayage actually mean? Is it A, a hairstyle that originated in Spain inspired by prima ballet dancers? Okay. Is it B, a hair coloring <laughs> treatment that strengthens the hair focusing on the roots? Uh -huh. C, a hair coloring technique originated in France that gives a natural ha hand painted highlighted look to the hair? Ooh. Or is it D, a technique that you uses a natural heat to help curl the hair. I'm gonna go with B, a hair coloring treatment that strengthens the hair focusing on the roots. I mean, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna get this one right. Yeah, I thought you were doing <laughs> The answer is a hair coloring <laughs> technique originated I in France. I should have said that. I'm in mean, France. Come on. That gives a natural hair painted look to the okay. hair. So but basically, balayage means to sweep the color onto the hair. Okay. It is a huge technique. You guys know it because it's a very gradient look. You'll see it throughout the hair. Actually, your version of your hair also it's is a, a bit of balayage. balayage. It's just the way that we, we, the technical way that we do the hair color. It okay. is a huge technique that we're using. It's not going out of style. It's here forever. It's here forever. I just like it's saying forever. balayage. It's such a fun way of saying. I should have known that was France. Okay, what is our next okay. uh, test me? my friend. Question number three. This one may be a little bit harder. Okay. The term invisible layers is a newer hairdressing term used to describe what? A. Okay. A deep bulking technique to create seamless layers that don't leave a harsh uh, layer line. Mm -hmm. B. A hair coloring technique that showcases an undertone of hair color under another. Mm -hmm. C. Shaving the under part of the hair to create no. less volume in a haircut. Or D. Shaving a personal shape or word close to the scalp but hidden by a layer of hair. I don't think it's C or D. T. I need to, I need to use a lifeline here. <laughs> No, we're not talking makeup. We're talking hair. So it's invisible layers, girl. Like, which one? I don't think it's C or D. Which one do you think it is? Uh, I, I'm the ponytail queen, so I'm going to you out really a lot here. But I think it is B. You think it's B, a hair coloring technique that showcases an oh. undertone of hair color under another? Interesting. No, the answer is... <laughs> no! Oh, no! <laughs> Well, no, it's not. What no, is it? The answer is A. It's a oh, debulking shoot. technique. So here's what happened. You remember in the 90s and the early 2000s, like layers were like really shelves on the hair, yes. like you'd see like a mushroom? Chunk, chunk, That's right, chunk. that's right. So us hairdressers invented this way of kind of cutting into the hair, which are called invisible layers, so you don't really see the layers throughout the hair. Oh, it's more subtle, it's more is natural. what you're trying to say. It's very nice. Thanks for your help, T. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't ask me, it's hair. Anyways, A, B. This one's good. The latest hair trend in hairdressing is called hair Botox. 
Oh gosh. What is this trend all about? Is it A, injecting okay. Botox into the scalp to help promote hair growth? <laughs> okay. Is it B, temporarily freezing areas of the hair and cutting to create a sharp, clean line? Mm -hmm. C, injecting each strand of the hair with Botox to create a volumized look in the hair? No. Or D, a deep conditioning treatment that, hairs, that fills the hair with protein-like keratin to give hair a more lustrous appearance? I'm gonna go with D. D feels like the most likely one because there's no way you're putting Botox in people's scalp, are you? I mean... <laughs> Oh, we're not going to talk about Botox. <laughs> um, you're right. Yes. It's D. And it's yes. one of the hottest trends right now is hair Botox. You're going to hear a lot of people talking about it. And it yeah. just it's a hair treatment that makes your hair come back to life a little more lustrous. And it's its a really big thing right now. It Does it fatten up your hair? Is uh, that why it's called Botox? Well, it's like adding, just, that's a good question. Like a I filler? Mean, it's a good question. I mean, I guess probably why they named it that. At yeah. the end of the day, when you put protein back into the hair, you're making the hair stronger, you're making it feel better. And so that's okay. probably why it's making it more lustrous. You all are creative with your titles here. <laughs> oh my gosh, hair Botox. What have you got for me next? Okay, question number six. Bond builders are one of the mm -hmm. hottest terms in hairdressing today. Okay. What is a bond builder? Is it A, a repairing treatment that helps damage broken hair from highlighting and processing becoming, to become healthy, beautiful, and shiny again? Mm -hmm. Is it B, a hairstyle that includes twisting and braiding of the hair? Or is it C, a special formulated hair glue used to attach extensions? Uh, T, I'm calling you in again. My lifeline once again. A bond builder. What do you think? Well, I know the word bond yeah. is usually at, uh, associated with a hair glue. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go with C. She's going with C. I'm going with C. I would go with A. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. What is it? Uh, it's A. Ah! <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I mean, that was a really good guess, though. Good I gotta say, that was a very good guess. Even when I looked at this, I'm like, that's a really good uh, response. Bond builders now, <laughs> what we're doing is that um, bonds are things that make up the hair. Yes. And when we highlight, hair, hairdressers highlight, we're breaking down those bonds. And so now they've invented um, something to put into the color that helps to re-strengthen the hair, and that's what a bond builder is. So if you go oh, in okay. to get to go lighter, highlights, balayage, any of these techniques, yeah. you want to make sure that your stylist is putting, or your colorist is putting in some kind of bond builder into the hair. That was so good and now you know T and T know nothing about hair. Well, so we, especially so I will keep my hands out of your hair. Okay. You have hair Botox in there. Thank you so much Jason. Very educational. I feel a little bit more updated now on my hair terminology. I'm ready to go take my cosmetology exam. Not